Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to Cooking for Large Styles of the Rich and Famous with me your host Robin Leach. I know it's been a while but we're back in a new location, new headquarters and we still got everything that we always use are all our special cooks and gadgets and whatnot to make all the magic happen. That's right. So we got a nice lovely new setup here. So what we want to do today is we want to take a trip. Our culinary adventure is going to Colombia, to the coast of Colombia, to a small city, coastal city, known as Cartagena, where one of their typical dishes, usually served with rice, or usually, I'm sorry, usually served with uh, fish, fried fish, red snapper, or some type of typical seafood, it's called uh, their coconut rice, which they love to call arroz de coco. So what we're going to do is now... This is the first step here is what we're going to do is reduce, start to reduce uh, coconut milk. Now remember I said coconut milk, mind you not cream. Don't make the same mistake that I made, mate. I'll tell you about that one later, right? Alright. So let's take a look here. And what, what we have now here is the liquid is already completely evaporated. And what we're left here with is sort of like a paste, right? So it's going to keep cooking. Now what you want to do is make sure... Make sure that it's not sticking to the bottom because you want it to be eventually the finished product is going to be brown. You don't want it to be burnt. Right. So, what happens is that paste keeps cooking and it creates these brown, lovely, crumbly pieces of coconut, intense flavor. Afterwards, you add the rice, the water, and at the end, we finish with some raisins, which I'll show you later on in the next step. Right. So, like I said, this is just a small snippet of our new location, our new headquarters for Cooking for the Lost Stars of the Rich and Famous with me, your host, Robin Leach. And as usual, it's been lovely coming back to cook for you guys. Stay tuned for the rest of the arroz con coco and love to see you again. As usual, mate. Cheers. We've moved on to Tecate. It's not Modelo no more. Cheers, mate. Oh, we're back. All right, hello, we're back now. Welcome back to Cooking with for the Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. I'm sorry, mate. Smarter Cat is getting away from me a little bit here. All right, now, as we come back, when we left you off, it was kind of like a paste, the coconut, right? Well, look at it now. And as you can see, it's, it's starting to crumble up, and it's already changed color, actually. Right. So you see it's starting to toast. At this point, you want to make sure you're constantly scraping the bottom with a wooden spoon, right? So you see how it's already changed color and it's already becoming, it's starting to get toasty and it's starting to crumble up more and more. So that's what, that's what you want to do is keep scraping the bottom, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom so it doesn't get burnt. And you can even even crumble it up more, just help it get more crumbled up. But as it, as it keeps cooking, it's going to crumble up crumble up even more on its own it's gonna get a little bit darker so it's gonna get about like a, a nice dark tan dark brownish color just remember not to overcook it because it will get away from you fast and it will burn and that's the last thing that you want right mates so keep cooking keep stirring keep sticking it off the bottom and keep putting this up in the air all right mates I'll talk to you soon hurry back all right, ladies and gents, so here we have the finished product, which I've just added the raisins, right? So you see how it's nice and fluffy, just like any other rice. But you see how the color that it's got. And if you notice, the little brown specks of coconut. That's the toasted coconut that we've worked so hard to get nice and brown. And that's what gives it that flavor and it even gives us the, 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 the rice the same a little toasted color with the raisins in there. You add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt. There you have it, ladies and gents. Arroz de Coco from the coastline city from Colombia, Cartagena. Stay tuned for the fish. Stay tuned for the rest. All right, mites.